My name is Chase, and today we have an amazing lineup of movies that are slated to hit the big screens in 2020 and 2021. I'm so excited! The Batman. Titled just as The Batman, director Matt Reeves' vision for the upcoming reboot will focus on a more original-driven storyline. The comics portray Batman to be the world's greatest detective, but the recent movies do not reflect that vision whatsoever. On one hand, we remain hopeful that the DCEU can bounce back from all the negative criticism, but on the other hand, we are still flabbergasted on the decision to insert a sparkling, pasty vampire into such a masculine role. But after all, vampires have a tendency to turn into bats, right? Avatar 2 The long-awaited sequel to Cameron's smash hit Avatar is finally entering post-production. Back in 2009, Avatar was a gigantic leap forward for motion capture and 3D film production. With the sequel being largely set around the oceans of Pandora, Cameron has spent the last decade perfecting the art of using cameras underwater. Considering the success from Avatar in 2009, which grossly nearly $3 billion, billion dollars at the box office, we expect the sequel to be out of this world. Avatar 2 is set to hit the theaters in December of 2021. G.I. Joe Ever Vigilant Everyone's favorite action figure-based franchise is set to return. It is unclear which of the original film stars will return as it's rumored to be a reboot. But considering the original cast included everyone from Channing Tatum to Bruce Willis to Dwayne The Rock Johnson, it is hard to believe we wouldn't see any of those A-listers on the call sheet when Movie 3 gets ready to return for a March 2020 debut. Next up, Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3. According to a poll done by Rotten Tomatoes, Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3 is the most anticipated MCU film post-Endgame. We speculate that Thor will join the Guardians for their upcoming adventure after what we saw from the final scenes of Endgame. The comics have never teamed Thor and the Guardians together, but they've counted on some other high-profile Avengers among their roster. Iron Man, Captain Marvel, and Ant-Man to name a few. Bios Tom Hanks will be the last man on Earth in this sci-fi feature. Specific plot details for Hanks' film are being held tightly under wrap, but we do know that his character Finch is an inventor. He also remains the last man living on the planet. As crazy as it sounds, Finch manages to build a robot to protect his loved dog before his death. Although few details have been released, Hanks has shown us many, many times before that he is the right man to lead any type of survival story, even if it's completely solo. So be on the lookout for BIOS in October of 2020. The next spot on our list goes to Marvel's Eternals. Being the first official film to debut for Phase 4, the Eternals have some enormous shoes to fill. After the death of Iron Man and Black Widow, along with the retirement of Captain America, MCU fans are anxiously waiting to see the future of the Marvel Cinematic Universe, in which the Eternals should be ready to lace them up. The starting lineup for this overpowered super crew includes Cersei, Icarus, Gilgamesh, Mickery, Aelysius, Thena, Xerus, and Star Fox. As a side note, please let me know in the comments below how bad I butchered those names. Bad Boys for Life The Bad Boys are back, and it's no surprise that Martin Lawrence and Will Smith are returning to the action franchise for their third rendition. The stars introduced their return to the franchise officially with an Instagram video in November of 2018. Yo, yo, I'm telling y'all, I'm telling y'all, this is crazy. Wait, wait. Just wait. It's official. It's official. It's official, baby. The new flick will follow the old school bad boys as they deal with a highly specialized police unit that collides with their style of work when a new threat emerges in Miami. Be on the lookout for Bad Boys for Life in January of 2020. Blue Beetle. That's right, everyone. Jaime Reyes will be making his DC debut. DC Warner Brothers is developing their first ever Latino superhero movie starring Jaime, and it will be written by Scarface reboot writer Gareth Dunnett Alcazar. For those who don't know, Jaime Reyes is the third person to take on the character of Blue Beetle. As a small backstory, Jaime discovered the alien scarab on his way home from school, and later that same day, the scarab was awoken and attached itself to Jaime's spine. Without fully knowing the limits of this scarab, we do know that it can create armor, weapons, and even allow the host to fly. Oh my! These are some of the very small details of what the scarab can achieve. As far as the Latino characters are concerned in the DCEU, Jaime will be the first to appear in a standalone movie when it actually takes off. As far as production is concerned, it is still too early to say when this movie will be released. The New Mutants Adapted from the comic series of the same name, these mutants are locked away in the secret facility but desperate to fight their way to freedom. The New Mutants also walks a fine line between sci-fi and horror. It was originally meant to release in 2018 but has been pushed back by more than two years setting it up for a July 2020 release. Birds of Prey Margot Robbie's Harley Quinn will return in Birds of Prey. 
a teen superhero movie directed by Kathy Ann. Birds of Prey will also feature main characters such as Huntress, Detective Renee Montoya, and Black Canary. The villain set to wreak havoc is known as Black Mask. Young Avengers Following Avengers Endgame, MCU fans and comic book readers alike are left to wonder, what's next? According to sources at WeGotThisCovered.com, Marvel is now in development of a new Avengers film that will feature young and fresh heroes. The current predicted lineup of these new heroes come from a group known as the Young Avengers, which is made up of Kate Bishop's Hawkeye, Hulkling, Iron Lad, Patriot, Wiccan, Cassie Lang, and Vision, not Paul Bettany's version. This current lineup goes further in confirming what Marvel President Kevin Foggy stated about placing Cassie Lang as a seed for the future. We've already seen the older version of Cassie Lang debut in Avengers Endgame, which starts the new wave of MCU heroes. With almost all of our original heroes gone, is the MCU community willing and ready to accept these big changes to the film's universe? We all knew this day would come, but not as quickly as it has. All we can do is prepare ourselves for the new wave of heroes to take over. But until then, we should just trust Marvel and Kevin Foggy as they haven't disappointed us yet. Inside sources speculate the release of Young Avengers to debut in late 2021. Morbius the Living Vampire Jared Leto stars in the upcoming Spider-Man spinoff titled Morbius the Living Vampire. Fans were definitely surprised to learn of Leto's new role, especially since the new character is owned by a completely different studio. Although he is still obligated to reprise his role as the Joker in the DCEU, the singer-actor still plans to move forward with his upcoming Marvel gig. As Morbius creeps closer to production, the actor seems to be preparing himself for his new role. Leto recently shared a Snapchat showing a special collector's edition for one of the earliest issues of Morbius the Living Vampire. Although his position within the DCEU appears bleak, Warner Bros. is still allowing him to reprise his role as Joker. Given Leto's current situation, Warner also greenlit the production of a standalone film regarding the Clown Prince of Crime. As most of you already know, Joaquin Phoenix will star as this version of the Joker. Morbius the Living Vampire will likely be released in July of 2020. And there you have it. This is by no means all or even most of the films announced for 2020 and 2021, but it was some of our top picks. If you enjoyed the video and want to see a part 2, please sound off in the comments below. Once again, my name is Chase. Be sure to check out Moviegasm.com and help us make this thing explode. What's up everyone and welcome to Nine Media. Today we will be talking about the return of Loki. The God of Mischief lives on. Well, only on Disney's new streaming service. On Thursday, Disney CEO Bob Iger confirmed that a TV show centered around Loki, the half-brother of Thor, will be on their newly titled Disney Plus streaming service. The studio's new streaming service has been hard at work developing original content for its official release next year, with a lineup that includes characters like Scarlet Witch, Winter Soldier, and Falcon. Considering Loki and Scarlet Witch's apparent deaths in Avengers Infinity War earlier this year, it was left uncertain whether or not either of their respected limited minute series would take place before or after the current run of the MCU. However, seeing as Disney had yet to even formally announce any of the upcoming shows, creative details were unlikely to surface until the official confirmation was released. That said, Loki series has finally gotten the official Disney green light. During a live webcast of Disney's fourth quarter 2018 earnings report, Disney CEO Bob Iger officially announced that a Loki spinoff series was in development, with Loki actor Tom Hiddleston set to reprise his role. He did not confirm whether or not the series would be limited or when fans should expect the series to debut. There was also no confirmation on the status of the Scarlet Witch series or if Elizabeth Olsen would even return for the role. And while it's still unclear exactly what the plot of the Loki TV series would be, it certainly sounds like Hiddleston would like to continue to add more depth to the character. I also don't think he's truly evil, Hiddleston explained earlier this year. He never was even in the Norse mythology in the Pantheon. Loki's a very important, fascinating character, the trickster. He's somebody that the gods needed at particular times. Lots of people are familiar with the Norse stories, but he's someone who, he represents chaos and opposition to order. And sometimes what you need is a bit of chaos and Asgard wouldn't be the same without him. Let Nine Media know in the comments below what you think about the Loki TV series officially coming to Disney+. Plus. Nine Media will respond to the first few we see. My name is Blaine from Nine Media, and we appreciate you sticking around until the end.